welcome to Get Fit Philly, the show that helps you find the places to lose the pounds all around town. I've been hearing a lot about Orange Theory Fitness, and it's finally here in Philadelphia. Let's see what it's all about. Hello, how are you? How are you? I'm Amber Joy with Hi. Get Fit Philly. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Chris. I'm the train director here. Great to meet awesome. you. Awesome. I heard a lot about Orange Theory Fitness, but I really don't. I mean, I've heard that you get a great workout. That's pretty much all I know. Awesome. You definitely do. You want to come in the studio real quick? Yeah, we'll check it I out, see show you what's about. going on. Yeah. So Orange Theory is a 60 minute full body workout. It changes every day. It's a high energy, fast paced class. Um, our whole concept of the class here is to get you in what we call the orange zone. That's our concept. That's when your heart rate is above 84% of your max. All right. So when we're in that zone, we're feeling a little comfortable. You can't talk to the person next to you probably. We're working hard. If we spend a certain amount of time there, we, our goal per class is 12 minutes. Now you're going to burn a lot of calories in here, you're going to spike your metabolism for the next 24 to 36 hours, and you're going to burn an extra 200 to 300 calories of rest. That. You like that little added yeah, bonus, yeah, right? Yes, that's, that's our concept. It's all live, interactive, heart rate based training. We're showing you how many calories you burned, how hard you're working, and we can get everybody in one class okay. doing the same. And that's the orange zone, that 84%. That, that's right. the orange zone. Okay, yep, awesome. that's, that's your goal. So do you use all the equipment every class or? So it changes by class. We have different themes here. We have endurance, strength, and power. Uh, you're always going to be on the treadmill for a portion of the class. Okay. So we do half the class is going to be strength, half the class is going to be some form of conditioning. Um, so we use our rowers a lot here, water-based rowers. Okay. Great well, full body tool. That. Yep, great full body tool. Shows you how many watts you're rowing, which is your power, your intensity here, and then meters as well as duration. We also always do some form of either an ab dolly exercise, dumbbells, we have our step up, step ups over here, BOSU balls, so we're, we have all the equipment, um, it's a great, it's a great, uh, great full body workout. Cool, 60 yeah. minutes, okay. 60 so minutes, yeah. When's your next class? I want to try it out. We got one coming up in five minutes. All right, cool, I guess I'm ready to get ready. I better hustle, let's go. <laughs> So on the floor guys, you're done with that row, so now it's just you and these weighted exercises for the next eight and a half minutes. Final 10 seconds guys, final 10 seconds, earning every base you get, so let's bring it back down here to base in three, two, and one, back down to base, pace 45 seconds this time. So we're going back to another one minute push, this time we're going to get a little longer base at the end, alright, so match that speed you just gave me, and let's go back to that push pace, back to that orange zone, increase that speed in three, Two and one, let's go. Right now, your whole goal is don't let them drop, guys, the next minute 20 or so. And then when you get to that last minute, you get stronger and you empty it all out. So first minute down, last two minutes on the floor, guys. So we get to that last 45 seconds, guys. I want you in at this plank position. Your call, one of these last two exercises for the last 45 seconds. You should need atomic mass flowers or plank punches. That's how you're going to end. Staying strong, guys. Good opportunity to earn a couple splat points here. 12 on the right, then 12 on the left, right? Neutral next. You don't have to force yourself to look forward. Next two exercises again are going to be in a plank position. Well, uh, your next one is plank position. The last one's another core exercise. So next one's a plank jack. So just on the balls of my feet, pop it out, pop it back in. All right, 12 of those. And then final one is a seated torso rotation. So Trez, let's get you back to base. So here, just going side to side. All right, reps are gonna drop. So you're going 32, the next round is gonna be 16. And the final round, if you get there, will be eight reps. So let's bring it back down. Three, two, and one. Nice job, back to a base this time. You got one minute here. Then you finish your first trap block with one more push, leading it to an all out. Get a nice wide base, guys, on both feet. On both feet, plank exercise, get a nice wide base, right? Feet should be a little wider than shoulder width. 15 seconds, guys. You got your last push this first block. You're going into a 90 second push. So, power up, we take it to a six per centimeter incline. Riders, just try to match that speed you gave me last time. Leading into a 45 second all out. So, let's do a push base in three, two, and one. Let's load it up. You only get two chances all day. 
to run as fast as you can or climb as steep as you can. So looking at your speed right now, you want to move at least one full mile an hour faster. Workout like that. I was definitely in the orange zone for that entire workout. I'm all sweaty now, but it's all worth it. Like, it looks like I burned 509 calories. Chris, that was an amazing workout. You liked it? You thought it was yeah. intense? Can you tell me a little bit about what my numbers mean? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, so you spent 16 minutes up there. That means you spent 16 minutes with your heart rate above 84%. So our goal before class, where I told you, was at least 12. So we're trying to get that afterburn effect, spike up your metabolism. Okay. So you spent 16 minutes there. That's when you were really, really working. Okay. Um, Average beats per minute, that was your average heart rate throughout class. You kept your heart rate in the 140s on average throughout the class. That's okay. including the floor, so it's pretty awesome to keep it there. And then you burned over 500 calories in there. So 516 calories in about a, just over 50 minutes. So pretty impressive. Then you'll burn the extra 200, 300 calories after the workout's over. All right, well, that's uh, not so bad for my first time. I definitely want to oh, come back awesome. because it was an amazing time. I, it's been a long time since I sweat that much. So I want to awesome. come glad back. You, glad you loved it. Yeah, but that's all the time we have today on MyNewPhilly.com where something is always new and everything is always Philly.